I just realized that I don't really have any vases. Like, I have one, one skinny one. Didn't really think that through. I just got some tulips at the market because I got very overwhelmed but I've got these ones on my counter and then I put a few on my windowsill. So I'm making my silly little breakfast. I'm doing avocado toast because we are not uninspired but a little bit uninspired today. Bread. Bread. Yum, yum. We're going to my little journaling setup that I have with Amanda and Skillshare. I've been taking this class called Art Journaling for Self-Care, Three Exercises for Reflection and Growth with Amanda Rich Lee, who is one of my favorite YouTubers. What I love about this class is that it's really helped me get out of a rut with journaling. I've just started to set up my page, but normally I just kind of like brain dump and write and sometimes I can get a little bit boring. So we brought out some washi tips. I have like some colored markers. Four pictures in order to run to try to only focus on- This is one of the thousands of classes available on Skillshare, an online learning community that has really helped with my creativity and personal growth over the past few months. I find their range of classes so inspiring and it's been really wonderful to be able to tap into my various interests like illustration, journaling, and even learning about time management and productivity. Their classes like Amanda's are such a great way to unwind and also invest in yourself. They're ad free and Skillshare are always launching new premium classes so there's something new to try. And as always, they've hooked me up with something for you guys. So the first 1,000 of you to use my link in the description will get one month free trial of Skillshare. I finished. What a fine day. What a fine day. Guys, I got some cutie glasses in Sainsbury's. They were on sale for two pounds. In the grand scheme of things, um, potentially new plates would have been a better purchase. But I don't really like any of them. And these are so pretty, they're like blown out green glass. This evening, I want to try and make my mum's peanut sauce recipe. Um, so I picked up some ingredients. We're making dinner. I've got the rice on. We're making a peanut sauce, kind of like a satay sauce. One of my favorite things that my mom makes for me at home. I don't have any lime leaves, but I have a lemon. So I'm gonna use lemon juice. And I also don't have crushed peanuts, so it's gonna be smooth. And I also don't have palm sugar, but I do have honey, which I know isn't technically vegan, but um, any sweetener will do. I have been eating vegan or eating plant-based for a year now because I started with veganery last year and it was going really well. Like I didn't really find it that difficult. Before I was pescatarian mostly. I've been pescatarian for like a lot of years of my life. A lot of years of my life. I was pescatarian since I was like, I don't know, 12 maybe. And then at university, whenever I was living with Abby, um, she was kind of dairy-free pescatarian. So the only thing we really ate, because we would like, our meals together was eggs and I actually didn't really miss eggs like I used to cook like poached eggs for breakfast quite often but um I don't know I just 
I got really into like mushrooms and avocado on toast. I do miss fish when I was in Paris. That's whenever I did brig <laughs> being vegan. But this month was veganuary, so you know, you should like try to challenge yourself to do a strip for a month. But at the end of the day, it's all about making those like small choices. If you can cut back on eating meat or being vegan like a few times a week, then that is still better than not doing it. I'm still gonna continue to cook plant-based for myself. And for the most part, whenever I'm out, I'll choose the vegan option. Hi! Um, <laughs> I'm cooking. <laughs> but um, yes. I'm, I was just wondering what order do the ingredients go in? Uh, maybe the powder. Okay. The best thing I've ever purchased is so cute. I know she doesn't really look like much, but I promise, it's so good. a booking to go get my nails done because they are in such a state and I haven't <laughs> haven't gotten them done in like ages, months. Finishing up my coffee. I doubt I'll be able to show you much inside because for privacy issues. I don't know. I'll still set the vibe. I don't know how many people are gonna be there. I don't know what the people are gonna be like. I don't know what the teacher's gonna be like. Wish me luck though. <laughs> it's a really nice day. That's good. It's sunny. Trying new things is scary, but it's good. It's good to do new things. Today's outfit is very comfy, cozy. I'm wearing these tracks to bottoms. I got a lot of questions on them. They're from Peachy Den, which is where I did my internship. Um, they're so comfy, but I have on like the Uniqlo Heat Tech thermals underneath. Just my trainers, this jumper, which you see me wear all the time. It's so cozy. Puffer coat is from Charity Shop, hat Charity Shop. Wish me luck. Oh, and my nails, I got them done yesterday. How sweet. I got them done at Shoreditch Nails. I did cry in the bathroom, um, but it's fine. I've just never done anything like this before, and I've never really had, I've never had drawing classes before. And this isn't really like, he's not really showing anything. He's kind of just being like, yeah, feel it, and you gotta like understand like the anatomy. I don't know the anatomy. I've never studied the anatomy, so I'm not disheartened. Uh, it's gonna take me a lot of work. It's gonna take me a lot of work to get where I want to go.
Okay guys, I'm so tired. Um, I got home a few hours ago and then just quickly made some leftovers. I thought I'd give you an update on the drawing class because last I spoke to you, I was like <laughs> crying in the bathroom. No, I didn't actually cry in the bathroom. I like a few tears streamed and I was like, Moya, don't cry. I think my initial hesitations was just that I was kind of the only beginner. There was three other women and they were all very much giving off the professional artist vibe and not like they weren't like showing off or anything they're just going for it they're just doing it so i was a bit like thrown off at the start but it got better it got really good and the teacher started he started like showing me not showing me how to do it but instead of just like speaking about it he like got the skeleton he was showing me where all the like bones were he showed me how to hold the charcoal like i couldn't even hold charcoal and he was like you know just like make as many mistakes as you can like make more mistakes be freer do bigger strokes and you can definitely see the progression from like how i started and some of the pieces that i really like are not like correct at all those really bad like proportioning there were some pages where he was like don't look at the paper just like draw and focus on the model and focus on the rhythm and like the last of the body but i'm really happy that i did something that i was initially very uncomfortable with and came out of it the other end and feel really good i'm so excited for next week and my teacher gave me like some homework he was like study michelangelo study rembrandt draw things in your apartment draw your plants and i was like i'm gonna do it for you but here i'll show you some of my favorite ones i did so many so these were the ones that I kind of did later on when so this one was whenever the model was moving like all the time I don't know I just kind of really like that um, and these ones were kind of after he showed me how I should be drawing this one even though the legs are like incorrect I quite like how the torso or the like stomach lies such a big difference from how I started um I think this was like my first one I had no idea what I was doing like what, what, that's that's just lines um and yeah I don't know um I had this idea and I thought I'd float it by you guys because obviously I want to make videos that you want to watch I was thinking of potentially starting like a video essay series where I sit down and just talk about one particular painting or one artist obviously researching it I mean I don't think I'm going to be saying anything groundbreaking like I'll just be looking at what like other scholars are talking about and giving my own two cents about how I feel about the painting um, but if you'd be interested let me know down below and if you wouldn't be interested in, also let me know I had this idea at like 11 p.m. in bed last night um, and I texted Anna, I was like, hear me out, what do you think of this? And she was like, yeah, you should do it. Um, so we'll see. I'm going to have an early night, I'm going to watch something, get up, go to the gym tomorrow. But yeah, love you guys.